like tell you other champs and believe me now do not buy a laptop now until you see what these things have or at least until they come out we're going to talk about all the new macs coming out this year we had the specs and i'm even going to talk about what performance we should expect from these laptops because we do know how these will perform because it's pretty easy to predict how fast these laptops will go there are some key variables there we'll get to that in a sec but you don't want to be buying a laptop until you see these because these could blow away everything and i mean everything on the pc market here so we have a mark german article i'll leave a link in the description to this now when it comes to mark german he's not usually first but he's usually right. Unlike that guy that shaves his eyebrows who is usually first, but he's hit and miss, right? When Mark Gurman says something, I tend to believe this more. I got nothing against eyebrow shaver. He's a cool dude anyway. What they're saying is PC sales through the roof, like 9 billion for the max. We're going to have MacBook Pro 14s, 16s, MagSafe, SD card, HDMI coming out this summer. So it won't be long. Probably WWDC, you reckon? And we have some key specs on these things, all right? Much more performance cores, much more CPU cores. So let's just have a look at the tweet he has up here. MacBook Pros, 10 core CPUs. We'll talk about performance in a sec. We've gone through this scaling with Intel. We sort of know how this plays out. Up to 32 core GPUs. That is nuts. That's in the laptops, okay? We're going to have Mac Pros with 40 core CPUs, 128 core GPUs. Wow. We're going to have iMacs. We're going to have MacBook Airs. A refresh of them. And this MacBook Air is going to be an M2 Mac with 9, 10 core GPU, which is probably the bin in there. So let's talk about this MacBook Pro 16 and MacBook Pro 14. Where is the performance of this going to sit compared to PCs? And we're talking even gaming PCs now from these specs. It's pretty easy to predict here. We have eight performance cores two efficiency cores this is a bit weird this makes me think it is m2 right because we have four efficiency cores with the macbook air and macbook pro we currently have the m1s right 32 cores gpu we currently have eight cores now apparently there's a 16 core option and a 32 core option when it comes to gpus for the macbook pro 14 and 16 I'm just going to say new MacBook Pro, so you know what I'm talking about now. We know for single core, the M1 Mac is equal of anything out there, Intel 11th Gen, even the AMD 5000 series. It's pretty much king when it comes to single core with the Intel, right? Multi-core, it's a little bit behind if we're talking about the MacBook Pro 16. It's roughly like 25% behind in multi-core for that. We don't talk about Geekbench here. And a little bit more behind with the AMD 5000 series. Now, those CPUs use a ton more power than the M1 Max. And the M1 Max is like the snappiest thing I've used in like forever. The technology is built in. The performance you get, like I edit 6K with an 8 gig RAM. M1 Mac and it performs like my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Yeah, if you layer things up, it's a bit different, but um, it just performs out of this world. Now, the key variable here is is it a new architecture? Also, the variable of TDP are they increasing the TDP? Given that it's only got two efficiency cores, you would think it's an improved architecture to say the least. So it's probably based on the A15 that's going in the next iPhone because it has two less efficiency cores. Maybe it's just a TDP bump. That means how much power it can use that allows it to use two cores instead of four cores. But let's just pretend it's the same TDP and the same sort of architecture. Maybe you find a little bit. You are certainly doubling the performance cores there. So that's four performance cores going to eight performance cores within the same TDP same sort of architecture it doesn't double the performance because it's the same tdp that's the variable right it'll be about a 60 percent uplift over the m1 so that would mean it's pretty much faster than any of the laptops out there now we're talking 5800h intel 11th generation it'll be faster than all of them even if it's just that 60 percent based on the same tdp if it's a new architecture and we're getting a TDP boost, so let's just say they double the amount of power it can use. It goes from being a 10 watt base to boost into 20 watts to a 20 watt base boost into 40 watts, which is much more power efficient than anything from Intel and AMD, which basically start at 45 watts when we're talking the H parts on the AMD and Intel. Then we can see doubling of the performance. If we're getting double the amount of power plus double the amount of cores, given that it's the same sort of architecture, then we're going to get a doubling of the performance and then it's just going to blow away anything. Now, when it comes to the GPU, same thing applies, right? Within the same TDP, going to 32 cores, wow, that will be more than a doubling of the performance there, even if it is the same TDP compared to eight cores, of course. And if I was going to say where the GPU sits with the M1, 
M1 Mac. It sits about like an MX350 or maybe like a low powered 1050, GTX 1050. If we're getting 32 cores, same sort of TDP, same sort of architecture, we're getting 2060 performance maybe even 3060 performance but if there's an increase of tdp and we're quadrupling the gpu cores i expect this to compete with any of the 30 series and if it's got enough ram and enough bandwidth there and it can share you know it's got unified memory it's got hbm it's you know bolted straight onto that chip or glued on i can expect this to compete with any of the 30 series this is really worrying for pc makers i can give you the tip they're very worried if this 32 cores is like real can't wait for these macbook pros to come out and just to see where they sit are they going to start using more power with these laptops it's just going to be amazing to see let me know your thoughts i'll catch you in the next one tally ho